What's up, friends? It's Wolfire Core. Welcome back to Set Showcase. Now, drum roll, please. Drum roll. We're going to be taking a look at my favorite starter by far. We got Big Pert. We got Big Pert. I love Big Pert. He's such a cool mod. So, he actually is getting a resurgence inside of usage inside of this tier. Like, he wasn't too good inside of Gen 7 since his mega was like all eyes on the mega. He had Swiss Swim, all that kind of stuff. But this mod? Oh! Oh! He's dank as hell. Look at these stats. Like, they're not amazing since he is a Gen 3 starter. He's not going to have, like... Actually, never mind. Blaziken has pretty good stats. But Swampert, like... He's really bulky. He's a bulky water that only has one weakness at being grass. And those stats don't lie. Those are some nice stats right there. Like, 90, 90, 100. I'm, I'm not going to lie. But this mod has actually gotten good for one reason and one reason alone inside of this particular tier, and that's the access to this move right here! The turn! Ooh, Big Pert actually has access to a U-turn move. So this dude has, like, all the tools he needs to be really good inside this tier, since, you know, depending on the tier you're in, or just the, the gen. If you're inside of a really old gen, and, like, bulky offense is, like, the main play, like, I don't know, this mod would be pretty good. Inside of stall, he could be used on stall. Unfortunately, inside of Gen 7, I don't think he was that viable since he had like all of these crazy mods with like 9,000 fucking attack wandering around, going for fake outs. Just this mod couldn't really live inside the meta. But now he's actually really good. Like Buzzwall and this mod, I didn't know they were going to be so good. I um, I did like a tier list myself. Um, I, I didn't post the video since it kind of got corrupted and I just didn't want to post it since I'm not really good at tier lists. But I put these two inside of like. Uh, a lower tier than they probably should. I expected them to both be inside of UU and like, you know, pretty just like decent, but no. Both of both dudes, Buzzwell and Swampert, that I'm seeing them everywhere, which is great. I love both of them. But let's take a look at some sets that makes Swampert so good. Alright, here we are. Okay, so as you see right here, we actually have um multiple multiple uh we have over six inside this team. Since I'm taking advantage of Pokemon Showdown's new thing. A box which is perfect for my set showcases so we have Swampert right here I already showed you his stats very good and the first set is going to be the one that everyone is using right now um, the flip turn with like a good coverage amount of moves this set it might look kind of basic like his stats aren't not amazing but still I don't know why this thing it gets in it gets out it flip turns out it comes in just gets some leftovers especially if you have it look like uh, I don't know, any kind of recovery, like maybe a Wish Passer. I haven't seen too many of those inside of current OU, but this thing is still like, this thing kind of lives forever, which is amazing. Um, of course, you're gonna be wanting to use Torrent, since I don't really feel Damp is too useful, unless like Stun Tank becomes really top tier inside the meta with Aftermath. But yeah, I think Torrent is, uh, is better if you get too low. But yeah, Lefties, pretty much the perfect thing to have on this dude. Now, I think most of you haven't played Gen 3 or Gen 4, but I'm pretty sure Swampert is pretty good inside of uh, one of those. Was it Gen 3? Yeah, I think it was uh, Gen 3. I, I've been watching a lot of BKC recently, and I don't know. He's been taking a look at the use of stats, and for some reason this mod's like really good. Like people are intentionally putting Hidden Power Grass on mods just to take care of Swampert, which is amazing. And um, it's cool that he's good back then, but he's actually like, you know, he's doing something now. Usually mods that are good, they kind of get a fall off. Like Titar, amazing. Snorlax, amazing. Tauros, amazing. Basically all these top tier mons are like, oh my god, they're so strong. You know, later, Power Creep comes up, but it's, it's cool to see bulkier mons. They don't have the best stats, being able to do something due to typing or an addition of a new move. You hear that, Game Freak? All of the Pokemon that are like, <laughs> well, doo doo buns. If you just give them a really good move, they're amazing, or a lot better. So this is going to be the physically defensive variant, which takes hits like a boss, has the um, amount of HP, the, uh, what's it called, uh, 101 substitutes, or something like that. Like, you don't have substitute, but, you know, it's it's a thing. It's basically when um, Seismic Toss from any Mon, since they're at level 100, it does 100 damage, if you have a substitute, which is one fourth of your HP, over 100, it means that uh, Seismic Toss isn't going to break your substitute. So you can like do that against Blissey or basically any mon using Seismic Toss, which is pretty cool. So yeah, this mon obviously has some uh, 
HP and bulk on him. Uh, Scald is just so much better than having like Waterfall, since you're not going to be outspeeding things, and you're not here to damage them, you're there to burn them. So if you get lucky, you can do that. EQ is just a really good attack, toxic, and then flip turn. I don't think you guys understand how good this move is. Like, people are still scared of this mon. Like, that is not an attack to sneeze at. If you hit an Earthquake, someone's going to be taking a bunch of damage, unless it's like hard resisted or something. I don't really know the calc against Toxapex, but I think it should do quite a bit. And if you're worried about um, getting toxic or anything against toxic pe Toxapex, you can just flip turn out. So they can't read you. You can just flip turn, they switch, there you go. Very cool. The next set we are going to use, or the one we're going to showcase, is kind of like the other one. Just this is the, um, well basically it's exactly like this one. It has Scald and Earthquake, but instead of having Toxic, it has Yawn, and it has a Rocky Helmet. So you could use this one as a switch in for some multi-hit moves or just being like a bulky wall. Um, I definitely think Leftovers is better, but you know, maybe if you want to use this on something that can give it something. Wish Pass, anything like that. But anyways, I definitely think this Rocky Helmet set could be pretty cool. Like, just, just think about it. I don't know, what's a good example? Tail Slap on like a Cincino or Chinchino, Cincino, something like that. There aren't that many mons out there that have like multi-hit moves and I can guarantee that something like uh, Single Strike, Rapid Strike, or Shiva is going to be doing, you know, a pretty good decent amount to you, but still, Rocky Helmet is just a really interesting thing to have. Maybe uh, as a Feramosa counter, like I'm pretty sure you take quite a bit from a Feramosa U-turn, but if you really want to have a Feramosa counter or something, it's not really a counter, it doesn't matter. Next we have the Big Aim set. Now this is one that I stole off of Poke Aim's video featuring uh i'm pretty sure it was some mod i don't know he just had this whole protective pad set which is so cool since everyone switches in ferrothorn you can go for the flip turn you don't have to worry about that so if you're being like you know really kind of technical about it sure you might have leftovers and might have more hp overall but you might get ferrothorn shit like a rocky helmet ferrothorn is just not fun to deal with if you like flip turning out and flip turning is just so much better than hard switching or something like that since Maybe you're slower, or maybe you don't want them to switch out or anything like that. So just flip turn, and you have the protective pads for that. Now this is damp on this one, which, you know, that works too. I don't know if that's a, um, actually I can guarantee that's not a mistake. Maybe this is specifically for like lead as a, for, uh, I don't know, Misty Explosion on a, what's an example? Uh, Hatterene, yeah, that sometimes runs like Trick Room Misty Explosion, something like that. But other than that, it's the exact same set, it's just it has protective pads. Very cool. Also, what do you guys think of this shiny? Like, it's pink, and I'm usually not a big fan of pink shinies, but I don't know. He just, like, he looks really sleek, like a toad or a, or a salamander. I don't really know what this mod is supposed to be. I know it's like uh, one of those... Isn't it the same thing whoopers are supposed to be? Well, they're both water ground types, so that makes sense. Anyways, sorry about the pause there. Just had to, you know, get some food. I don't know what that speed is supposed to do on this particular set. Ah, uh, is that like... Minus speed T-Tar? I don't fucking know. I have no clue. Anyways, moving on to the next set. We have this one. This is the sub bulk up, you know. Why? Why does it always have to be all this kind of stuff? It doesn't all have to be defensive. Okay, this is a trash set, okay? I would not advise using this. You're not going to be able to do too much with it since, you know, Water and Ground is a really good typing. Defensively. And offensively too, but you kind of can just switch on this thing. It's not too strong. But with a bulk up, it can do something. Like, it's pretty bulky. Might be able to live like a Grassy Glide or something at like... Three bulk ups, maybe? I don't know. Uh, having Torrent and Leftovers, this mod can like, you know sub up down a torrent or something but it's still it's slow as nuts defensive defensive substituter <laughs> why not do a subset uh if you're always worried about people going for like toxic on you since you're really defensive you can do this i really wish this mod had access to like rain dish as one of its abilities i think that'd be pretty cool but no it's hidden abilities fucking damp why well, is it that the other two starters got cool ones one got unburdened which like uh septile could take advantage of unburdened but you know it's already pretty fast and then Blaze can of course got fucking speed boost. <laughs> Why does this thing get damp? Like it's a cool thing because he is kind of damp, but would be cooler if he had something more epic like 
Zap Sniffer. <laughs> All right, next set we have is going to be the Stealth Rocker. So this mod, of course, having access to Stealth Rocker. Oh, of course, if a mod has access to Stealth Rocks, why the hell would you not try to abuse the Stealth Rocks on it? I don't know if Stealth Rocks is a good set to have on this mod, but it's still, it, like, it has access to it, why not try it out? So this is basically like all the other sets, but it has access to Stealth Rocks now. I don't know why it was um, an off, like a bulky, a bulky um, offensive attacker, there's no reason to have it like that, since if this thing has, you know, a special move, it's not going to be due to being doing too much damage, like U-turn pretty much, leftovers, it's better to do a bulky set. Yeah, but this is a very cool set, I think you could take advantage of it. Like Toxic is cool too, they're basically the same fucking thing, just, you know, Stealth Rocks, whatever you feel like doing. Uh, next set we're going to do is the um, the Choice Band set. So this is taking advantage of the, um, the, the prowess, the power of Megapert, aka the roided out fish. He is so strong that uh, Natty Pert, aka not on steroids, Pert, decided that he wanted to try to become one too. So we put a Naruto headband on and he's ready to fight. I don't know what this EV spread does, if that's the same one as Big Aim. No, this is doing something else. I don't know what the fuck this does, something probably. Anyways, so with the choice band and the full offensive stats, he might be able to do something like 355, 350 is pretty decent and choice band makes that even stronger. Um, like I think flip turn is the best part of this set right here. This would be like a totally garbage set that you shouldn't even think about, but having access to flip turn, you know, if someone wants to switch inside of one of their counters, you have flip turn, which I have to say, like waterfall's pretty strong. It's 80, but flip turn, like a 60 base power flipping move, that's that's pretty good. It's a lot better than having something like doo doo, doo doo stinky buns. Like I'm pretty sure Volt Switch and U Turn are both 60, so I'm glad they gave this one 62, 60 as well. <clears throat> uh, and it also has Ice Punch, since you know it's really trying to channel that Mega Pert energy to hit something like a Rillaboom. You know, maybe, maybe think of this as like a like a process or something. You, you lead off with Swampert, someone else leads off with Rillaboom, they really know you're going to switch out, like they guarantee it, so they go for a Sword Stance, right, you go for an Ice Punch, it's banded, it's pretty strong, it does like 70%, and then they're like, oh shit, oh shit, oh shit, and then they, then they are forced to go for a Grassy Glide, you can go inside of like, uh, what's a Mon that could eat one, let's say a, um, physically defensive, slow bro galar and then you get your quick draw and kill him something like that that's a pretty niche situation and, and you know you're kind of a savage if you're running banded swampert and a physically defensive slow bro but you know whatever floats your boat and then finally the final set we have is going to be the lead set why not do something lead i don't know what that special defense does i don't know i'm gonna take that out and just put it inside of hp because it makes it look cleaner to look at but you know, you can do whatever you want. If you really wanted to, which, you know, kind of depends on the person, you could just do a, um, a supportive set. So full HP, full speed, but I really don't think this mod's fast enough to be taking advantage of that. I think it would be much more preferable if you can just set up those rocks. Maybe they go for a sword stance or something. They're like, <laughs> oh, you greedy motherfucker. You just went for stealth rocks instead of the face of my really boom. And then they hit you, got your sash, bam counter and then of course flip turn and earthquake to round off the combo <laughs> so these are all the sets for swampert there are probably so many more i don't really have like a hardcore meme set like a specs set or something like that but you know some of these sets are a little worse than others i kind of like this one though this one's kind of heat people might not expect it especially like as a lead but anyways i think that's gonna wrap it up for this showcase this one was pretty legendary and it was even inside of two parts as you can tell by the uh time in the top left corner but i'm gonna end this please recommend me a new mod i can do a showcase on and if not i'll probably just be using this inside of an all-star since this thing is this thing's heat as fuck but with that being said guys thank you for watching and keep on the lookout for my videos